beneath my feet Feel the wind on my face I'll be smiling, feeling free I'm gonna lift my arms up high and dream like I'm touching the sky I'm gonna spend me some time getting some peace of mind well you know city life it has a lot to give fine restaurants and concert halls Broadway shows and bright lights that's okay sometimes you know folks come from different walks of life yeah, they go to the city, enjoy the sights. It's a busy place, always on the go. Seems no one is ever moving slow. Yes, I'm going to the water and feel the sand. Beneath my feet, yes I am Feel the wind on my face I'll be smiling, feeling free Yes, I'm gonna lift my arms up high And dream like I'm touching the sky I'm gonna spend me some time getting some peace of mind Well, you know, city life, sometime is all right with me. But I like the country, I like the beauty of the trees. I can walk to the park, wave at my friends, sit at the bay and watch the day end. You know, the sky seems bluer. Away from the city, no high rises to block my view. New perspectives, yes, they come a lot clearer. So I go to the water, it keeps away the blues. Yes, I'm going to the water and feel the sand. Beneath my feet, yes I am Feel the wind on my face I'll be smiling, feeling free Yes, I'm gonna lift my arms up high and dream like I'm touching the sky I'm gonna spend me some time getting some peace of mind 
Yes, I'm going to spend me some time getting some peace of mind. Living now in the AM, 11 minutes after the hour of 9 o'clock. Uh, again, it's a beautiful Wednesday. December 4, 2019, we are WRFG 89.3 FM. This is the Blues Therapy Show and Dance. A music excursion, can't say that enough. Hey! We're in the second hour. And final hour of this particular program. A little more than three quarters of an hour left to prescribe this medicine we call the blues and its fruits. At the hour 10 o'clock, we transition into uh, Soul Rhapsody. Keep it locked right here. We are your station for progressive information and happy quality music. Your 100,000 watt voice of the local, that's global and local community, WRFG Atlanta. Kick that last set off with uh, the late great. Bluesician poet Gil Scott Heron bringing us Get Out of the Ghetto Blues. Followed by Out of Bluff City, that's AKA Memphis, Tennessee, the Bo Keys featuring Percy Wiggins on lead vocals, giving us writing on the wall. Coming from the brand new album, The Woman I Am. The Woman She Is, The Woman I Am is the name of the album. None other than uh, Veronica Jackson. Veronica Jackson. And this Saturday, December 7th, uh, WRG's Ormwood Opry and Holiday Buffet happens. Featuring live music performances by Hair of the Dog, uh, Mandy Strachota, and our very special guest this morning. Yeah, the woman she is. She's here in the comfortable confines of the WRFG studio. We welcome the dynamic, amazing songwriter, vocalist, guitarist, Miss Veronica Jackson. Good morning to you. Good morning, Larry. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. How about that intro? That was a wonderful intro, man. Nobody couldn't did it any better. All right. Do I get the job? You got it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for making the time this morning to join us. We sincerely appreciate it. We sincerely appreciate it. And as I did off the air again, we thank you for lending your time, talents, and energies to a very worthy cause, more than worthy cause, I should say. Uh, it's our benefit uh, happening this Saturday, December 7th. It's uh, WRG's Ormwood Opry and Holiday Buffet. Uh and welcome back, by the way, because I think last time you were here was perhaps the, the about this time last year or maybe the start of this year. Maybe, maybe last year. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Come on up to the mic just a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can project. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be that sultry voice. Yeah, yeah, evidently. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, the Woman I Am, your latest album, is uh, somewhat of a historical uh, retrospective, uh, paying homage to women who've made significant contributions uh, to acoustic folk blues. That's right. 
uh, such as uh, Elizabeth Cotton and uh, Precious Bryan, the, the, the great Precious Bryan and, yeah. and Sister Odetta. Come on, Odetta. Uh, yeah, and to name a few, hence the title of the album, again, The Woman I Am. Yes. Uh, beginning with uh, Elizabeth Cotton, uh, what particular attributes of hers uh, influenced and inspired you? I know Elizabeth Cotton is out of uh, Virginia? North Carolina. North Carolina, North okay. Carolina. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Elizabeth was an inspiration to me when I learned her history mm. and how she just started early in life, you know, wanting to play music and right. how she raised the money to get her first guitar. Mm. You know, she went around knocking on doors and saying, you know, do you need any help? She was only 11 years old, wow. maybe 10 or 11. Okay. And the people would look at her and say, you too young to be talking about helping someone in a home. Right. Well, someone did hire her. And when she got her money, she would give it to her mother. Mm. And when she got enough money, she, her mother went out and bought her her first guitar. And she wrote a song that became very famous at her age at, of 11, mm -hmm. Freight Train. Oh, wow. And okay. that's, the, that's the song that people sing all over the world. Right, right. You know, right. the history of that song mm -hmm. it dates back to Elizabeth Cotton, but the lady just was historical. Left-handed guitar player played mm. the banjo. Mm -hmm. You know, the Seegers kind of helped her get established and everything, mm -hmm. but uh, she just has an inspiring and wonderful life. Absolutely. You know, and she inspired me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. woman I am, I love it, I love yes. it. Okay, uh, Precious Bryant. Precious Bryant. Now, what made me get a hold of Precious Bryant is knowing that she was raised or stayed right here in Georgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tried to hook up with Precious, but mm -hmm. I never was able to meet her okay. or anything. But I know that her blues had a historical thing here in Georgia, mm -hmm. you know, and I know she had a a, a challenging sort of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she was one that I wanted to um, make recognition in, especially with the song um, that I have on the CD about her, um, the morning train. Yeah. You know, and I'm a lot of people, yeah, yeah, I'm going home on that morning train. And so yeah. many people done packed their bags up yeah, but and went home, whether it was a train, car, bus, you know, yeah, I yeah. could relate to that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I remember meeting Precious Bryant uh, several years ago for the first time. Mm -hmm. She performed at uh, one of our Labor Day Blues barbecues okay. and her and her son came. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think he was on bass, I think. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it was, a, it was a privilege and a pleasure to, to yeah. finally meet her because mm -hmm. I had been playing her music and, and knew of her for several yeah, years yeah. uh okay uh and last but certainly not least uh my capricorn sister uh odetta, and odetta. <laughs> odetta let me tell you about how i got a uh, hold of odetta i was like 13 14 maybe yeah. 15 and back in the i'm a seasoned woman i'm a mature woman all right and back in the day when i was coming <laughs> up 13 and 14 years old yeah they had a lot of good music shows on television yeah a lot of folk musicians was on television. Odetta, mm -hmm. Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, the Mamas and the Papas. Mm -hmm. All these people were playing their music, even people like Bill Withers. And they were all on television. Mm -hmm. And so Odetta would be on television. Right. You know, but what really set me off was, I would say many years ago, I met these two sisters that every time I went to a speaker's engagement from where I am in St. Petersburg, Florida, I see these two sisters and I said the next time I see them I was going to go up and introduce myself to them and I did that and we became friends and one of them who was really an activist the other was kind of a little bit low-key mm -hmm. she had an album mm. of Odetta I have that album to this day wow and uh, when I listened to that album constantly I just grew so much in love with Odetta, and I got the opportunity to meet her mm -hmm. and to conversate with her. And Odetta was very well versed in a lot of things. Music, young people, you know, history. It was just so confident, and she was a, a strong-willed woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I kind of tend to uh, like to be around women that are 
strong and encouraging mm-hmm. and Odette. I, and that's the energy. One. Yeah, that's the energy you give off too. Yeah. So, so yeah. It, it, it did rub off on you. Yeah, it did. In, it a, did. in a huge way. It did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> in a huge way. And I want to keep her alive. Those women, when I sing their songs, I want to say this song was recorded or written by. Mm-hmm. And, and let the people know because we don't have many black women in folk music or acoustic folk music. Right. You know, of acoustic folk blues. Right. And I intend to keep it going. Right on. You know, I am. All right, I all am. right, all right. Listeners, we're in conversation with acoustic folk blues songwriter, guitarist, and vocalist Veronica Jackson. Uh, who'll be featured this Saturday, December 7th, during WRFG's Ormwood Opry and Holiday Buffet. That's happening 5 till 9 p.m. at the Ormwood Church. Uh, the location uh, or the address is 1071 Delaware Avenue, Atlanta, 30316. Also featured will be Hair of the Dog and Mandy Strachota. Uh General admission is $20. Kids 12 and under get in free. For more info, wrfg.org. And or you can call our business office at 404-523-3471. Uh, the tune that we played off of uh, your album, The Woman I Am, is uh, entitled Going to the Water. Yes. OK, talk about the inspiration uh, oh, for, man, for that I particular you, tune. You know, being up here in Georgia, you don't have much water. Yeah, you're landlocked. Yeah. yeah. And I just miss those times when I used to can get up early in the morning and go down to the bay. Yeah. And get some of that peace mm-hmm. and that quietness yeah that is in st petersburg you know uh-huh. and i Florida, said i always is. wanted yeah. to write a song about the water uh-huh. so i was out one night i was playing this festival that uh, was around this town in south carolina mm-hmm. and this lady said i'm about to sing my song she said and my dad it inspired through my dad and it's about the water and i left out i said as much as i like her music I left out, I say, because I'm going to write a song about the water and I don't want her to give me no sort of influence right, right, on right. how I'm going to write this song. Uh-huh. But hearing her made me go straight on and write that song because, see, I love the water. Mm-hmm. And when I say, well, I'm going to the I just see myself yeah. out there you have you the know, vision, walking yeah. it. I have the vision. Mm-hmm. Every, every word in it, I vision it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a fantastic uh, album. Um well produced. Thank you very much. The music is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, where did you? Where, where was this uh, recorded? Right here in uh, Atlanta, in Tucker. In okay. Tucker, Georgia. Well, you can give a shout out to the studio and, and yeah, I can give a and, shout and, out and, and the musicians who joined you let as well. Tell you, let me tell you about. Don't y'all go anywhere. I just got to put it down and look at the CD okay. here. Okay. Okay. You know, just so I'll get people names correct. So the guy that helped produce this, who was really nice, was Billy Gerwin. You know, G when he got a funny last name, uh-huh. young boy, you know, and uh, at my age, I can say that today, <laughs> you know. Right. I got you. I got you. Yeah. But he was just so insp- instrumental in getting this done. And he selected, he helped me select the violinist on going to the water and the harmonica pair, my friend, who is just so wonderful on it. Um, let me see. Open it up that's here. A, that's a sweet harmonica, yeah, too. Yeah, David Soli, I think yeah. I'm pronouncing that properly. Yeah. He played, when someone introduced me to him and said, get David to play on the thing. And I'm saying, well, dog, you know, I hear David play the guitar. I haven't heard him play the harmonica. So uh, my friend Frank say, listen to him. Get together. Got together with David and I be done. He just won my heart over with yeah, his harmonica. Yeah. He, he knew how to ride me. Because ah. a lot of harmonica players, when it comes to folk music, they're a little bit too loud. Mm-hmm. But he knew how yeah. to ride me. Like, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, and, I know what you're saying. And it was just wonderful. And, and that's know? why it comes off to me, like I said, that's a sweet harmonica. Yes, that's that's yes. tasteful. He was and, very. And, and, and dynamics. I mean, because yeah. a lot of... Uh, I don't, <clears throat> as you said, harmonica players, when it comes to folk music, yeah. don't utilize the dynamics or understand the dynamics of folk. That's right. It seems. That's right. Uh, That's right. And the same can be in, with the case of electric guitars in some mm-hmm. in some capacities. But yes. yeah, so I, I can take it. He's sweet. He's a very, yeah. and his personality just goes with it. Yeah. You know, and awesome. then the bass player, Beth, Uh-oh. Yeah. 
um, how did I meet Beth? Someone told me about Beth. I think Frank helped me to Beth too. Okay. You know, and uh, I met up with Beth. And, See, Frank um, is the, Frank is the the conduit for yes, all he, of that. Yes, yeah. he is. I love it. Yes, he is. And hooked up with Beth, and we practiced. And she was very, you know, she's into uh, acoustics. Right. So um, she did very well. And then who else did we have? Oh, the violin is Marla. Yeah, Marla. Yeah. Someone else have to me mention Marla. that. <laughs> we yeah, were talking about that yeah. off air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I love they, that. they just all just made this. Um, they just enhanced me mm -hmm. in this CD because most of the time, all the other recordings I've done, mm -hmm. it's just been me. I wanted it to be different this time. Yeah. Because I felt like, well, Veronica, maybe this is your last CD. Studio work for me is challenging. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to bring in some people to make this a Because you know something? I listen to this CD. Now, if I listen to this CD, I'm enjoying it. Right, right. If I'm getting something <laughs> from this CD. Yeah. You hear what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, And yeah. these people made that all possible. Yeah. You know, how many musicians make a, a, a CD or record a CD and listen to it? Mm -hmm. Well, this CD offers something. Right. It offers love. It gives you peace. Mm. It's got some blues in it. Mm -hmm. You got folk. You got history. Mm -hmm. This is a very good healing. CD. Healing. Healing. Yeah. Healing. You heard what he said? Yeah. Healing is in this CD. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I'm just so thankful that I've made it. You know, it's going to last. People are going to take this CD and they're going to really enjoy listening to it. There it is, y'all. Yeah. You know, Veronica Jackson. And I can, I can say this. Um, I knew it was something to it. It was quite special yeah. uh, when it was re reviewed by the only blues magazine publication uh -huh. that really matters, yeah. Living Blues magazine. And they yes. did a great, gave it a great review yes. as well. And uh, I yeah. think I reached out to you and, yeah. and, and just yeah. congratulated yeah. you yeah. on that. So congratulations that. publicly yeah. On, a, yeah. on a great piece of work, collection of work. Yeah. Uh, and surely you'll be performing selections uh, from The Woman I Am. I will, uh, I will. This Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and what energy are you wanting to transfer i guess we just talked about that to the audience well this you know when i when i love and healing things huh. you know when i do things like i'm doing for um wrfg yeah this i understand that this is a really nice church mm -hmm. and the acoustics is going to be yeah. awesome in there and it only seats about 100 people so y'all better get there early a absolutely. and get you a seat absolutely you know yeah so i like intimate settings like that mm -hmm. so it's going to give me the opportunity to um, get real close to the audience. And I, a lot of times I go with the feel of the audience. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna do some blues. I probably do some, an old spiritual that's all intertwined mm -hmm. with what blues and folk mm -hmm. music yeah. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm looking forward to it, but I'm looking just to be myself. Hey. Get the feel of the audience. Hey. And then I'll just let the songs roll. All right. <laughs> Move, moving on spirit. Yes. Again, listeners, we're in conversation with acoustic folk blues songwriter, guitarist, and vocalist Veronica Jackson. She'll be kicking off, as a matter of fact, uh, this Saturday, December 7th, uh, WRG's Ormwood Opry and Holiday Buffet. That's happening at 5 p.m., uh, kicking off at 5 p.m. with Veronica Jackson. And we're wrapping up things about 9 p.m. And that's, as she mentioned, at the Ormwood Church, located at 1071 Delaware Avenue. That's in Atlanta. 30316, uh, right up the road off of Moreland Avenue, if you're familiar with that area. Also, uh, on the uh, who will be featured as far as live music is uh, Hair of the Dog and Mandy Strachota. Uh, it's $20 to get in. Uh, kids 12 and under get in free. And for more info, uh, wrfg.org and or the WRG Business Office at 404-523-3477. One, there's an absolutely powerful track on the album uh, entitled Harriet Tubman's Ballad. That's my song. And uh, which is another homage. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, talk about how that piece uh, came to be. Well, you know, that song was written by Woody Guthrie. Mm. Yes. Way back when. Yeah. And, and that's what I understand. Yeah. yeah. And when I first moved to Atlanta, I used to do children programs. So I was looking for songs to to learn, to be able to go into the school system and play my music for the kids. And I came across this song. Mm. And I thought, wow. And then when I seen Woody Guthrie had wrote it, yeah. 
that really did something to me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this man was conscious. Right, right. He cared right. about people, working people. He mm -hmm. cared about the world and peace and stuff mm -hmm. like. And when I learned that song, it was a to me it was a pretty long song. All these verses. So I tried to take one out. I couldn't do it. I had to do the whole shebang. Yeah, it's all or none. It's all or none. Yeah. So I learned that <laughs> song, and it's so funny when I went to see the movie yeah, Harriet. Yeah, I was going to ask you which and came, I said, which let came me first. See. Yeah, I say let me see if this song has any comparison or yeah. line up uh -huh. with what the movie was. And it, to best, it did its best. He did his best. Okay. But it tells a history. That's the main thing. Right. The main thing was she did go and she saved many slaves. Mm -hmm. You know, and went on to live a good old life. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. And so I just love the song. I love history. I love saying this is who I am. These people that I selected for this song, they have the blues. They have gospel. Mm. They have history. Yeah. I got my stuff in there. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. So what a compilation, huh? Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice if uh, uh, you could have gotten some placement in that film, you know? Yeah. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. I'm just saying, for future reference. Well, you know what? I believe in time to come. A a absolutely. I will be in one of these films that people in are putting out there, you know? Yeah. Watch out, Tyler Perry. I'm going uh, come knocking on your door. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Surely in divine time. Um, yes. And uh, again, uh, this this uh, particular album has gotten great reviews. Uh, any contact info you'd like to give out? Uh, if people would like to know more about the woman and the music that is Veronica Jackson yes. and ultimately obtain a copy of yes. The Woman I Am. Yes, well, this CD, The Woman I Am, mm -hmm. and its title song also, The Woman I Am, mm -hmm. is a very good CD. The Woman I Am title song is talking to women, mm -hmm. women that are going through a tough time that feel like that they can't rise above mm -hmm. the woman i am tells you i'm special right the woman i am tells you i can be and do anything i like to be that we don't have to settle mm. you know what i'm saying mm, that's powerful you know and it's just a wonderful cd so yeah. you can find this cd you can get it off my website all right veronicajackson.com remember that's veronica with the k mm -hmm. jackson, jackson. Dot com. All right, y'all. For all things Veronica Jackson, it's veronicajackson.com. And that's Veronica with the K. With the K. All right, veronicajackson.com. Uh, and I think I'm going to uh, thank our WRG calendar sponsors. Uh, we like to make the time, take the time to thank Blind Willies here in Atlanta and Fat Matt's Rib Shack in Atlanta as well. Uh, in regards to live music this evening and beyond, it's Wednesday, December 4th. It's a blues jam and dance party hosted by the Casanovas over at Blind Willie's this evening. Eddie Nye V performs at Fat Matt's Rib Shack this evening as well. Thursday, that's tomorrow, December 5th, our good friends Frankie's Blues Mission perform at Blind Willie's and Chicken Shack perform at Fat Matt's Rib Shack. This Friday, December 6th, George Hughley and the Shadows perform over at Blind Willie's. Swap Raw Deal perform at Fat Matt's Rib Shack this Friday as well. This Saturday, December 7th, it's Sandra Hall and the Shadows over at Blind Willie's Ron Cooley and the Hard Time Band perform at Fat Matt's Rib Shack this Saturday as well. And all roads lead to the Ormwood Church this Saturday, 5 till 9 p.m. It's WRG's Ormwood Opry and Holiday Buffet kicking off with our special guest here in the studio, Veronica Jackson, uh, Hair of the Dog, Mandy Strachota, all performing again, 5 until 9 p.m. Along with live music, uh, we invite you to feast at our holiday buffet, which will include lots uh, of vegan and vegetarian options as well. Uh, refreshing beverages and tasty desserts will be available for purchase. And uh, be sure to bring some extra cash for our silent auction and musical raffle. And if, as always, all proceeds will benefit your station for progressive information and hand quality music. WRFG 89.3 FM, your independent community radio station uh, at that uh, for progressive information and the hand quality music. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you in advance. And Veronica, we thank you for making the time. Uh, and I know your time is very valuable. Well, the it's sister, always a sister came in and said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you 30 minutes of my time this morning. I said, <laughs> I say, well, how much would that cost me? Uh, but uh, <laughs> I appreciate you making the time, and we're, we're sincerely looking forward uh, 
to uh, seeing you, experiencing you, yes. Veronica Jackson, yes. uh, this Saturday. Kicking it off at 5 p.m. Yes. Again, folks, for all things Veronica Jackson and to obtain her music, veronicajackson.com. That's Veronica with the K, jackson.com. Uh, you insist on a joy-filled day. Yes. Whole lots of love to you. Only the best to you. Congratulations you. on this fantastic album. Thank okay? you very much. All right. I think we're going to get into some uh, Miss Tubman all ballad. Right Let's do Miss Tubman. All right. All right. Take care of your precious self. Thank you. I was five years old in Bucktown, Maryland. When into slavery I was sent I tell you of the beatings and of the fightings In my 93 years I spent I helped a fear and make a run for freedom when my 15th year came rolling around The God he called him in a little store In a little village slavery town On a bundle of rags in our log cabin my mother, she ministered to my knees It was there I swore I'd give my life's blood Just to fight to set my people free In 44 I married John Tubman I loved him well till 49 but he would not come and fight beside me So I left him there, I left him there behind I slept in barn lofts and in haystacks I stayed with my people in slavery shacks They said i die by the boss man's bullet But I said I can't turn back The sun was shining in the early morning when I finally came to my free state line I pinched myself to see if I was dreaming I just could not believe my eyes I went back home and I got my parents I loaded them into a butt port hack We crossed six states and other slaves followed And up to Canada we made our tracks When we faced the guns of lightning And the thunder broke our sleep After we faced the bloody red storms It was dead men that we reaped yeah, we faced the zigzag lightning, but it was worth the price we paid When the thunder rumbled over, slavery was in his grave Come and sit beside my deathbed, I will sing some spirited songs on my way to a greater union Now my 93 years are gone Yeah, we faced the zigzag lightning But it was worth the price we paid When the thunder rumbled over Slavery was in his grave Come and sit beside my deathbed I will sing some spirited songs on my way to a greater union, now my 93 years are gone.